I wanted to move it more. That's why we launched a week of action on campuses across the country to raise the issue and get more students and administrations involved. And thus far, over 250,000 students have already taken the pledge, the It's On Us pledge, a pledge I'm going to ask each and every one of you in this auditorium to take before I leave. And it's simple. It says, one, I promise to intervene when I see something. Two, I promise to create an environment where sexual assault is unacceptable. That means how we talk about it in public. And three, ensure that any time there's no consent, I understand it's rape. No consent means no. Whether you're conscious or unconscious, it means no. So hop on your phones when you leave here and take the pledge, because it starts with you on this campus here at Syracuse. It's just sitting out there, Nick. It's a big fish. Yeah. Yeah, she's right, right over right. the waves are breaking. Yep, yep, she's coming in. Yeah. Yep. Coming in. I will never swim again. Check that out. Nick, we gotta drag him back. A six and a half foot full star. This is Maria. She's a drama and English student at the Queen Mary University of London. Ten years ago, we were attending elementary school and creating performances in our after-school program. She was one of my closest childhood friends, and then she moved halfway around the world. When I found out I was studying abroad in London, I thought this could be a great opportunity to rekindle an old friendship. So after a decade apart, we met up. So I used to live just over there um, in my first year and you're put in a halls with about five other people from like any other course. Um, like no idea if you're gonna get on with them or not. I suppose it's the same in America. Only 45 minutes from Broadway. Think of the changes it brings. For the short time it takes, what a difference it makes. In the ways of the people and things, I did not join the Air Force to be a photojournalist. I joined the Air Force when I was 18, right out of high school, because of 9-11. And in my life at the time, I didn't really have much going for me anyway. So it's not like I gave up my whole world to go join the Air Force or anything. Hoy en Citrus TV Noticias, empezamos con un grupo de estudiantes de sexto grado que visitaron el colegio de Newhouse de la universidad. Esto y mucho más adelante en Citrus TV Noticias. Nicolás Acevedo, Kenneth Sondoño, Aurín Naranjo, Ricardo Invert, Gabriela Carrero, Paola Zuro, Ashley Mitchell, Emanuel Rivera Joel. Reportando para Citrus TV Noticias. Congratulations on being admitted to the Whitman School. We are really excited that you have the chance to join us. I chose Whitman because they have uh, really substantial programs. They have some of the best job placements in all the universities that I've seen. The stuff that you're learning in Whitman is not just things that you'll never need to use again. It's something that can be applicable to our careers when we graduate. freshman year I got stared at every time I entered a classroom and I would have to figure out if it's because I'm six feet or because they know who my dad is but I mean 
This being my second year, I think people are just starting to look like, all right, she's a normal person. She's not Hollywood or anything like that. I'm Jasmine Jordan, and I am a sophomore here at Syracuse. I think my last name is just a name. It doesn't really define me. Um, and eventually, hopefully, we'll be able to attract New York Public Library or maybe even Chicago Public Library or some of the biggest libraries in the, in the world will be on Blair's. Sometimes you have to look for something else. And you got to figure out what makes you whole. What makes you whole? I'll see you in you. Whenever I can. <laughs>